Where is the infected wolf spider? I was asked this question dozens of times during my first stream of the Into the Woods update for Grounded. I can confirm it is in the game, but don't worry if you don't want to run into it. From what I've seen, currently there is only one way to get it into your game, and in this video I'll show you exactly what you need to do to find the infected wolf spider or how to avoid it. Before we begin, I want to thank all my channel members, especially the Overseer91 and Grey Knight for helping make videos like this possible. Let's get started. So there's good news and bad news if you want to see the infected wolf spider. The good news is if you don't want to see it, you don't have to see it. The bad news is if you do want to see it, you're going to have to start a new save. So what I did was I started a brand new save here. And what I did was I tried to figure out exactly how this worked. I did have some help from other people who told me how they thought it worked. So I went and tested it out. So last night on my live stream, I was unable to find the infected wolf spider. I checked every wolf spider spawn, did not run into it. That was on a save, that survival save that does not have the haste turned off. I then went into a creative world earlier today on a survival world that does have the haste turned off. The, the wolf spider, that I could not find the infected wolf spider. So as you can see under here, the two wolf spiders on this brand new save are sitting in there. They look like normal. And you can see it's a brand new save. I've only found the field station, the mysterious machine, and the punch that I ran past coming out of the spawn area. So they're, brand, they're right there. So in order to be able to see it, from what I found, the only way to actually be able to have the infected wolf spider in your game is you have to have the cutscene play from plugging the haze. So you have to plug the haze up, and when you plug the haze up, the wolf spiders in here will instantly, I, when I saw, I guess, I think there's only one of them. I'm going to try it again because this is another fresh save that I just started. It should turn those two into one infected wolf spider. I did go around the entire map checking all the other ones, and I did not see any of the other ones turn into it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go plug the haze up on this world. Now, if you already know how to do that, you can skip ahead. I'm going to put a timestamp up in the corner right now. You can skip ahead to that where I will show you after the haze has been plugged up and we'll come back over here. If you're not sure how to plug up the haze, I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So stick with me for just a second. So to turn off the haze, you're going to need three things. You're going to need a gas mask so you can enter the haze area. You're going to need the black ant shovel, which is the tier two shovel. And you get that from black ants which you can find primarily around the trash pile, the sandbox, and around the picnic table. And last but not least, you're going to need gum. We're going to build up to it. We're going to have our black ant shovel out, and we're just going to hit it. And as you can see, after it breaks, it drops a couple of pieces, which are going to look like dry grass somewhere. Where did they go? They're over here. So they kind of look like the dry glass in the plant fire, but this in case they're gum nuggets. So now that we got the gum nuggets, what we want to do is we want to go over to the weed killer container over here, and we want to get up on top of it. So you can get up here by climbing up this stick over here. So we are right here on the edge of the deck, and you can get up here by these rocks. There's a, this rock over here you can jump up onto. Get up onto this rock, then we're going to come up here onto this stick. We're going to walk up here. We're going to come over here to the handle the nozzle and the handle to the weed killer. Go all the way up top here. And then we're going to see this hole over here. This crack right here says weed killer, more like hoops killer. There's got to be something around here to plug that up. So you can plug it up with the gum. And when you plug it up, you get the cinematic. And as you can see, what it does is it turns off the weed killer because the weed killer was leaking from the container. All right, so for those of you that didn't know how to plug the haze, now you know how to do it. For everybody else, welcome back. So I'm on the same world, just wanted to show you. Here we are, I've only discovered these things. And what I did was I ran over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug it on here as well. It's gonna play through the cutscene. And I just wanted to show you that this is how it works, that when this cutscene plays, it transforms the one under there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna jump down, I'm gonna run across the yard, I'm gonna speed it up so that you don't have to watch me actually run across the entire yard, but I'm gonna speed it up to like 4X speed. And I, cause I just wanna to prove to you that's actually in this world and this is exactly how it works. And we'll get over there and we will see the infected wolf spider should be under there. Like I said, I did check all the other wolf spiders after doing this, uh, all the new ones too that were added up over by the, the shed up there. And only one of them was transformed. That was the one under the oak tree. So let's really quickly speed on over there.
Okay, so we're over at the oak tree. Once again, I just ran over here. Same world. We're on day one. We're only 12 hours in. And we're going to head in here, and the infected wolf spider should hopefully be underneath of here. And there it is. You can see it. That thing is nasty looking. Hopefully it's not too dark in here. You'll be able to see it. So there it is. It looks like it... I don't know if it trans... I don't know if the other one's going to respawn in here or not. I haven't tested multiple days. But it looks like just this one's in here. And there's actually a spiderling in here, too. I did not notice that before. But I did go around and check all the other wolf spiders, and this is the only one that transforms. So once again, just to recap, as of now, as of this recording, and like I said, things might change in the future. Right now, the only way to get this infected wolf spider in the in the world is to start a brand new save and plug the haze up. Now, let me hit it one time. You actually you don't even hit it. Look how much health it has compared to a normal wolf spider. So it has that much health, so it has that many bars. We'll really quickly run out here. There should be one under the leaf over here, because we are on day one, so they don't really don't wander around. And actually, that spiderling might be from somewhere else. I'm just going to see how much extra health it has. So the odd thing, in my opinion, is the fact that they added it right by the, the oak tree lab, which is where most people go. So you can see health-wise how much more health that thing has than a normal wolf spider. So real quick before we end, I want to... I'm going to kill it real quick to see what it actually drops, because I don't know what it drops. And one thing that was really odd was after I, after I stopped recording before I came over here to do this... Like, a spiderling came in here and it attacked the spiderling. It also attacked ants. Like, from its sleep, it just woke up and started attacking everything. So it seems to be, like, ultra-aggressive compared to the regular wolf spiders. Because normally when the wolf spiders are underneath the tree, you'll see aphids walking under here, weevils, ants, and they never even bother with them. But this thing just went wild and just started attacking everything. And we're in creative, so it shouldn't even matter. So there it is. So we're going to see what it drops. I have nothing in my inventory, right? I just have a piece of gum. So it dropped 10 fungal growth, 4 spider venom and three spider fangs did not drop spider chunks interesting but so that's what you're going to get from it so yeah like i said it's ultra aggressive you can see it killed all those uh, ants over there and it killed i think a what was this a weevil or an aphid over here and it killed a spiderling over here it just started going crazy and it was attacking all these little things that were walking past it which was really weird so anyway that's the inf that's the infected wolf spider so that's how to find the infected wolf spider let me know in the comments down below if you plan to start a fresh save and fight it or if you're going to avoid it if you found this video helpful, make sure to click the like button and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.